हेलो गाइस, आई एम डॉक्टर नीरज एंड आई एम बैक विद सम मोर इम्पोर्टेंट टर्म्स ऑफ इम्यून सिस्टम वॉच द वीडियो कम्प्लीटली बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इंक्लूड सम वेरी यूजफुल टर्म्स दीज टर्म्स विल डेफिनेटली वर्क फॉर यू वेन एवर यू स्टडी द इम्यूनोलॉजी सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट टर्म इज इम्यूनोजन इम्यूनोजन इज एनी सबस्टांस दैट एक्टिवेट द इम्यून रेस्पॉन्स इन सिंपल वर्ड्स यू कैन से दैट एनी सब्सटांस ड्यू टू विच योर इम्यून सिस्टम गेट्स एक्टिवेटेड दैट सब्सटांस इज नोन एज इम्यूनोजन बट यू शुड रिमेंबर दैट ऑल इम्यूनोजेंस आर एंटीजन बट सम एंटीजेंस आर नॉट इम्यूनोजेंस वाई बिकॉज सम एंटीजेंस दे आर वीक दे आर नॉट एबल टू एक्टिवेट द इम्यून सिस्टम दैट्स वाई दे आर नॉट कॉल्ड एज एंटीजन बट all the immunogens are antigens because immunogen as by definition these are those substances which activate the immune response means only that substance will be called as immunogen that activate the immune system the next term is immunity it is the state of protection from disease or you can say it's the power of your body by which you you can you can say by which you are protected from the diseases so that power is known as immunity immunological memory it is a property of immune system that it remembers the pathogen for future whenever the same pathogen or same antigen comes in the body in future in that case our immune response it act very fastly and kill that pet, uh, kill that pathogen before it causes the disease so that property is known as immunological memory next inflammation inflammation is a, you can say protective response of our immune system whenever there is a damage to our tissue then there is a step of process activated these step of process these are known as inflammation and the inflammation is you can say it generally in response to damage or infection and it is very necessary to eliminate the pathogen from the body and during inflammation there are certain classical signs of inflammation like during inflammation the infected area become red there will be you will feel a heat sensation and uh, you will sometime also feel pain and swelling will also be there so these are certain classical signs of inflammation next innate immunity the immunity which is present from birth that immunity is known as innate immunity and this immunity is non antigen specific because it is present from birth and it is developed without exposure to antigen that's why it is known as innate immunity or sometime also the non antigen specific component of the immunity it involves certain barriers like physiological barriers anatomical barriers and endocytic and phagocytic barriers so it consists of certain barriers which prevent the entry of pathogen inside the body so it prevent the entry of any kind of antigen that's why you can say it is non antigen specific so the immunity which is present from birth and non antigen specific is known as innate immunity next interferons these are certain glycoproteins which are produced by some cells and these glycoproteins you can say these are antiviral in action or they produce antiviral state in other cells so these are known as interferons the next lymphocytes so these are mononuclear blood leukocytes and these are very helpful or you can say they mediate the humor and cell mediated immunity they are include b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes macrophages these are phagocytic cells or you can say these are phagocytic blood leukocytes they play very important role in the adaptive immunity because they phagocytose the antigens and protect us from the antigens next mast cell so it is a bone marrow derived cell which you can say it is present in a variety of tissue these cells these cells they have certain type of fc receptors which are specific for immunoglobulin e that is ige and this ige it recognize its receptor on the mast cell and bind to the mast cell after binding it degranulate or you can say it in simple words you can say it kills the mast cell due to the killing of mast cell 
there is a chemical released from the mast cell that is known as histamine and this histamine it ultimately causes the inflammation so you can say the mast cell these are involved in the inflammation next memory cell so as i told that immune system it remembers the pathogen and act in the future and how it act in the future due to the help of memory cells means whenever there is a attack of pathogens on the body so there is a formation or you can say the production of certain cells which are stored in the memory they may be b lymphocytes or t lymphocytes so these cells which are stored in memory and used in future these are known as memory cells and these are generally long lived why because they have to be stored that's why they are long living cells and they are more easily activated than the navy cells next term that is very much important term mhc restriction there is a one conditions for the activation of t cells that they will only activated by that antigen which is displayed along with mhc that is major histocompatibility complex if any antigen which is not bounded to mhc or which is not displayed in combination with mhc that antigen will not be able to activate the t cells so that condition or you can say that characteristics of t cell that it only require the antigen along with mhc that characteristics is known as mhc restriction and without mhc these t cells they will not respond against the antigen means antigen must have come along with this mhc so this property is known as mhc restriction next are the monoclonal antibodies so these are antibody which are produced from the single clone of b cells and also they are specific against single epitope epitope they are specific very much specific against single epitope of an antigen so these kind of antibodies known as monoclonal antibodies next monocytes so these are also phagocytic cells or you can say phagocytic blood leukocytes white blood cells they generally you can say they generally circulates in the blood but sometime they comes out of blood and they migrated to the tissue where they are stored and when they migrate to tissue then at that stage they are known as macrophage means monocytes which are stored in the tissue are known as macrophages next navy cell it's also one of the important term navy cell navy cell is any mature b or t cell which have not encountered any antigen till yet means it is not encountered or it has not recognized any antigen till yet you can say it's just a fresh b and t cell which is not bound to any antigen that cell is known as navy cell next are the natural killer cells so these are the granular cytotoxic cells they do not have the receptor for t or b cells they involved in both that is they can kill the cell in the absence of antibody but they can also kill the cell by the you can say by using the antibody as a recognition point that term is known as antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity next neutrophils so these are also you can say phagocytic blood white blood cells these are very much abundant or you can say these are the most abundant cells in the blood and they circulate in the blood they also responsible for inflammatory response and these are the cells which are first to you can say these are first cells whenever there is an infection these are the first cell to response against the infection next opsonization it is a process by which you can say the phagocytosis has been increased or you can say the enhancement of phagocytosis is known as opsonization and what happened during the opsonization there is a uh, you can say molecule that is opsonin these are deposit on the antigen and due to this opsonins the antigen is firmly or you can say stably attack or attached with the phagocytic cell which result in their increased phagocytosis so in simple words you can say the process by which the phagocytosis has been increased is known as opsonization next passive immunity it is a immunity which is which is developed due to the transfer of preformed antibody from immune person to non immune person so in passive immunity you just transfer the preformed antibodies while in case of active immunity we just transfer the antigen and antibody is developed within the 
होस्ट और यू कैन से विद इन द नॉन इम्यून पर्सन बट इन पैसिव यू जस्ट ट्रांसफर्ड द प्री फॉर्म्ड एंटीबॉडीज नेक्स्ट द पैथोजन एसोसिएटेड मोलिकुलर पैटर्न पैम्स सो दीज आर द यू कैन से रिसेप्टर और मोलिकुलर पैटर्न विच आर प्रेजेंट ऑन पैथोजन लाइक बैक्टीरिया वायरस दीज पैम्स दीज आर रिकोगनाइज बाय द पैथोजन रिकोगशन पैटर्न ऑफ इम्यून सेल्स नेक्स्ट द पैटर्न रिकोगशन रिसेप्टर सो एज आई टोल्ड द बैक्टीरिया और एनी पैथोजन दे हैव सर्टेन रिसेप्टर्स और पैटर्न विच आर नोन एज द पैथोजन एसोसिएटेड मोलिकुलर पैटर्न दीज पैम्स दीज आर रिकोगनाइज बाई सम स्पेसिफिक रिसेप्टर्स ऑफ इम्यून सेल्स दीज आर नोन एज पी आर आर दैट इज पैटर्न रिकोगशन रिसेप्टर्स नेक्स्ट इज द पेयर स्पैचिस these pair patches these are lymphoid follicles which are present along the small intestine and they just entrap the antigen or you can say that they entrap the antigen of gastrointestinal tract and provide a site where the b and t cell the kill or you can say they interact with the antigen phagocytosis it is the process by which a cell or you can say a phagocytic cell it engulf the pathogen and just kill it or neutralized it or in simple word you can say just degrade the antigen basically the neutrophils and the monocytes they are the main phagocytic cells plasma b cell the b cell which secrete antibody these are known as plasma b cell because whenever a b cell it recognize a pathogen it start producing its progeny and which include memory b cells and plasma b cell so plasma b cell is that cell which secrete antibodies and these antibodies they ultimately kill the pathogen the primary lymphoid organ so these are the organs where the uh, you can say immune cells or b and t cells they mature so where the immune cells mature that organ known as primary lymphoid organ in mammals generally bone marrow and thymus are the primary lymphoid organ in which the b and the t cells they you can say mature b cells mature in the bone marrow white t cells they mature in the thymus primary immune response so it is you can say the first immune response whenever a pathogen enter inside the body so first initial response is known as primary immune response it takes some time because body is not prepared for the attack or not prepared for the pathogen so it takes some time for body to make some immune cells or some antibody so that's why you can say the immune primary immune response it it is of short duration and it also the response is of low magnitude but whenever the antigen same antigen come inside the body again so that time the immune response will be fast and which is known as secondary immune response but in primary immune response it's in simple word just you can say it's the first immune response which is generated whenever an antigen or pathogen comes inside the body secondary immune response so as i told when the same antigen which is previously introduced inside the body it is it is recognized again or you can say it comes in the body once again so in that case the immune response will be very fast that is known as secondary immune response or you can say whenever body show immune response to a previously encountered antigen that is known as secondary immune response and generally the b and the t cells they are involved or memory b and t cells they are involved in the secondary immune response and remember the secondary immune response is faster than the primary immune response next secondary lymphoid organ so these are those organ which provide the site for the interaction between immune cells and antigen means in these organs you simply say these organ they just entrap the antigen and the immune cells either b or t cells they come and just interact with antigen and eventually neutralized it so these organs are known as secondary lymphoid organ they include lymph nodes spleen mucosal associated lymphoid organ etc what is spleen so spleen is a secondary lymphoid organ which provide the site for the interaction between immune cells and antigen and it is also known as the graveyard of rbcs means old erythrocytes they are destroyed in the spleen thymus it is a primary lymphoid organ where t cell mature thymus dependent antigens or t d antigens or sometimes also called as t dependent antigen t stand for thymus so these are those antigen which activate or you can say which 
only activate the B cells in the presence of T cells or simple words you can say that these antigen they require help from the T cell to activate the B cell so that's why they are known as thymus dependent or T dependent because they are totally depend on T cells for their action to stimulate the B cells or you can say to activate the immune response. T helper cells so as the name indicate these are the cells which help other immune cells to kill the antigen they just release some cytokines which act as signals and these cytokines they interact with other cells and activate them and ultimately due to these cytokines other cells they activated and kill the pathogens. Next term is the transcytosis. It is you can say simply the movement of antibody across the epithelial layer is known as transcytosis. Type 1 hypersensitivity. Hypersensitivity is you can say it is the uh, over reaction of the immune system. Sometime our immune system it get over stimulated and due to over stimulation it start showing you can say some side effects or start attacking our own body cells also. So that over stimulation or over sensitivity of immune system is known as hypersensitivity. And these are four types. First, which is due to the immunoglobin IgE. It is commonly known as allergy. Means in the allergic reaction, this IgE, immunoglobin E is involved. Second type of hypersensitivity, that is type 2 hypersensitivity. It is due to or you can say it is mediated by the IgG and IgM. And it involves like blood transfusion reaction, Rh factor response and some hemolytic anemias. Next, the type 3 hypersensitivity. This hypersensitivity is due to the antibody and antigen immune complex. The example of this hypersensitivity is the rheumatoid arthritis. Type 4 hypersensitivity, it involves or you can say it is due to the T cells and it involves poison IV. Next, ubiquitin, it is a universal protein which is attached to you can say which attach or tagged on a protein for destruction means when a body wants to degrade a specific protein so firstly that protein is tagged by this ubiquitin so any protein on which ubiquitin has been binded so that protein will ultimately you can say that protein will ultimately degrade it so that protein which act as a tag for degradation of proteins is known as ubiquitin Next, vaccines. So, as you know, vaccines are the formulations or generally they contain the antigens which stimulate our immune response in advance. Whenever vaccine is injected into an individual, so these vaccines, they contain either killed or very weak or attenuated antigens. So, these antigens, they evoke our or activate our immune response, but they are not able to cause the disease. So, our immune system, it make memory cells and these memory cells ultimately attack the same pathogen if it again enter the body. So, these are known as vaccines. So, these were some very important terms which are generally encountered whenever we study the immunology. So, that's all for today guys. Thank you very much.